What's up guys, my name is Clark Asla, better known as Adventure Athlete. In today's video, I'm gonna be getting a chance to show you guys the top 10 football accessories every football player needs on game day. today's video I want to say thank you all so much for showing love and support I'm currently at about 82,000 subscribers and we are well on our way to 100k subscribers here in the next month or so and with that said I'm gonna be dropping the official adventure athletes merch once I hit hundred thousand subscribers so make sure y'all stay tuned for that as well as I wanted to update you guys because I got some college football game day vlogs coming real soon I'm gonna be vlogging the entire football season so if y'all can be patient with me I'm really trying to make sure that these game day vlogs are the best game day vlogs that I can produce because as y'all know this is my last college football season so this is the last time i'm really going to be able to bring y'all my college football game day vlogs with that said let's now get into the video starting with game day accessory number one so as you guys can see here on my right arm i got the gridiron glove football helmet and on my left arm i got the adventure athletes football helmet and the first game day accessory that y'all need is a visor as you guys can see here, I got the chrome visor on the gridiron glove helmet, and I got just your plain and simple clear visor on the adventure athlete helmet. When I'd wear a visor back in the day, I'd only wear them on game day, simply because during practice in the week, they can get real beat up real quickly. So I always want to make sure that whenever I'd be playing, my visor would be as clear as possible and not have any dents or scratches in it. Because at the end of the day, the visors are a clean, clean look, and it's really hard for defenders to see where my eyes are looking. But once it gets beat up, it can be very difficult as a player to adjust, having to see when you got scratches and you don't have windshield wipers on your visor. At the end of the day, I really wish I could invent a visor that has a windshield wiper on it so you can wear them actually in games, but stay tuned for that. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to wear a visor at my school and college, which is a real, real bummer, but make sure y'all stay tuned because overseas, you know your boy's gonna be rocking a visor. Now let's move on to game day accessory number two. For game day accessory number two, I got a very small but very much needed accessory. And as y'all can see here, this is eye black. Y'all can pretty much get these at any sports store. For game day, I always make sure I'm rocking eye black. One, it just helps with the tint and the lights if you're playing on those Friday nights so that the lights don't affect your vision. Two, it's also a really cool look. I know a lot of guys just go with the plain and simple lines across their eyes. I recently have been rocking the crosses on my face just like this. You guys can see in this photo right here. So for game days, it's a much needed accessory for y'all to get eye black. If you guys don't like the lipstick style of eye black where you draw on your face, you can also get the little patches that I'll have pop up right here. These eye black patches are basically just stickers that then you can just add right under your eye. As well as sometimes you can also write little things on those eye black patches. In some areas in high school and college, you can't write on those eye black patches, but at the end of the day, definitely get some eye black or some eye black patches. Now let's move on to game day accessory number three. Game day accessory number three, we got the handy dandy chin strap cover as y'all can see right here and basically this chin strap cover allows you to basically have one a little bit more color coordination something that's just a little bit different on your helmet because as y'all can see this is an all-white helmet and with this little black chin strap cover it adds just a little bit of my own personality my own little swag if y'all want to say or drip is now today's day and age word of swag but also chin straps can be very very slippery when sweaty so these chin strap covers allow the chin strap to not essentially slip off your chin especially when you're playing those super hot and sweaty games as well as some practices i chose to save this as a game day accessory because i rotate a lot of these throughout the week and i always have a game day chin strap cover that i'm typically using which is this black one right here so y'all definitely want to pick up a couple chin strap covers for your home let's now move on to accessory number four For accessory number four, this also kind of pertains to uh, practice accessories, but as y'all can see here, I got in one hand a quarter sleeve dry fit Nike shirt, as well as in the other hand a long sleeve cold gear dry fit Nike shirt. Ultimately, both of these dry fit shirts allow you to have that comfortable feel under your shoulder pads, as well as they do a really good job absorbing the moisture that you sweat out on your body and then keep your body dry and warm. Now that it's fall season here and uh, in the Pacific Northwest, the weather gets pretty bad. Your boy's probably gonna be rocking a lot of this cold gear here coming up soon. Y'all definitely are gonna wanna pick up an undershirt that's gonna really, one, allow you to be comfortable while you're playing the game, as well as keep you warm if you're playing in those terrible conditions. Let's now move on to accessory number five. Accessory number five has to be armbands. So I saved these for game day accessories because I know there are those guys that do rock 
armbands in practice, but we all know, y'all know what I'm talking about whenever dudes are rocking their armbands in practice. But there are some reasons why I know some QBs be rocking their armbands and also some other players as well, because one, these really help reduce the sweat that can get on your hands, especially on game day. Whenever you're playing in a game, you really start to sweat more because you're working 10 times harder than you normally are in practice. These armbands ultimately just help reduce the sweat that comes from my forearm all the way down to my hands in the game so I can really make sure I grip a ball well. As well as these are also a great look for swag, right? Or AKA drip. I also got the breast cancer awareness armbands and there's a variety of other armbands out there. All y'all gotta do is go on Google, type in football armbands and a million of them are gonna pop up. Let's now move on to game day accessory number six. Game day accessory number six, I've got shooter sleeves. You guys can see here, I got one with the pad and one without a pad. I saved these for the game day football accessories because with those boys that are rocking shooter sleeves in practice, you know they're trying to get their drip game up. But really, I save these ultimately for game day. Whenever I'm hurt or I have a bummed up injury, I always wear this padded shooter sleeve simply because let's say I have a wrist injury. If I'm falling down, I can always land on my elbow instead of landing on my wrist. And it just has that extra protection for that elbow that's gonna be absorbing the contact on the ground. If I'm just feeling myself and I wanna look dope because we got a dope color combination for the jerseys for that particular game, I'm just probably gonna be rocking an all white shooter sleeve. You can never go wrong rocking one of these things. And at the end of the day, this shooter sleeve really helps your drip game. Let's now move on to the bonus accessory that I'm gonna be including in today's video. All right guys, so one thing that I've not mentioned in any of my equipment videos is on my shoulder pads, I always like to add a little bit of my own extra touch by adding a variety of stickers on my shoulder pads. You guys can see here, I got the breast cancer awareness. I got the gridiron glove. This one here was a sticker representing a mass shooting that occurred last year. As well as I got this Parker Moore sticker here who was a team member that died in 2014. As well as there's another honorary sticker and my football number right here on the back of my shoulder pads. Uh, that's just one little thing that I like to do on my shoulder pads to make them super unique is uh, just add some stickers. So let's now get back into the top 10 football accessories that every football player needs on game day. The seventh game day accessory y'all definitely need is a pair of tights. As y'all can see here, I got some purple and some white. These are pretty much the two colors that our jerseys all really match. And what I like to do is whenever I'm wearing my purple tights, I always try to make the tights match the top jersey colorway. I got the purple top and the purple tights that really match well, and then I got the white pants matching the cleats. I really try to color combo the tights with the color of the jersey that I'm gonna be wearing for that game, as well as they're gonna always be opposite the color of my pants and my shoes. Let's now move on to accessory number eight. Accessory number eight has to be the swaggy soccer socks. As y'all can see here, a lot of people back in the day used to rock these long soccer socks, which is pretty much what they are, and rock them all the way up to their knees, as y'all can see right here. This used to be what all football players wore, like I said, this raunchy high sock style. Nowadays, everyone's rocking this OBJ style high sock with a lot of wrinkles, which I think is super, super dope, and it looks really clean with the cleats. So y'all definitely wanna be picking up a pair of soccer socks is kind of like what they're known for. Honestly, like I stole these from my sister who plays soccer at the University of Portland. By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to her channel, I'm just gonna put it right up here. I'm really trying to get her to start a YouTube. But back into the accessories, definitely wanna pick up yourself a pair of long socks. And then like y'all saw in the photo with OBJ, you wanna definitely wrinkle them up and not have them all the way up to your knees. Now let's move on to accessory number nine. Accessory number nine, these have to be one of my favorite football accessories out there and that a lot of people don't really rock these days and that has to be spats. A lot of people when they're playing ball, they like to tape up their ankles and I definitely used to do that my freshman and sophomore year. But once I discovered spats, basically you still have the swag look of taping up your ankles but without all the extra issues of having the tape on your ankles, as well as then having to cut off the tape after the game and potentially cutting or damaging your shoes. So as y'all can see right here in this photo, this is what this look looks like. I think it's super clean and I think it can really match well with y'all's game day's colors. So definitely recommend you guys looking into getting some spats. Now for the last and final accessory guys, this is a top, top secret that I really haven't talked about at all on this channel that I'm gonna be telling y'all today. Right here, these are my custom Oregon football cleats that I had all the way back in 2012. They used to have a chrome outsole and obviously it's faded a little bit, but 
for the final and last football game day accessory that every football player needs. This one's very unique because when I was in high school, I was number 11. And for good luck, I put $11 in my right shoe because I'm right-handed. For y'all that don't believe me, this is what the money now looks like. The money is all super crinkly and shrivelly, as y'all can see right here. And it's been in my shoes for about almost eight years now. Well, basically what I did here is I folded up the money, put it in a little small plastic baggie and then duct taped that and then put it under the sole in my shoe. And basically what it was is one of my fun little superstitious tricks that I like to do knowing that I got $11 in my right shoe just kind of helped me play better. It was kind of just my special thing that I did in high school. So if you got a big number like 86, I don't recommend putting $86 in your shoe. But like I said, at the end of the day, this money's still good and it's kind of cool just getting a chance to think back that, wow, I actually played all four years in high school with $11 in my right shoe. I don't think anyone in the world can ever say that. And it's just one of those cool, unique things that I'm gonna get a chance to save this money and tell my kids. There's nothing like the $11 that is priceless that was in my shoes all throughout those four years with all those memories. With that said, guys, I wanna say thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please make sure y'all subscribe and leave a like. I wanna thank y'all so much for showing love and support. I really, really appreciate y'all. Like I said, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers and I cannot wait to finally break that milestone. If y'all want me to do a football giveaway of a bunch of gear, leave a comment down below. I'm thinking about doing so here in the next couple of months. And that's gonna conclude this video. I'll be seeing y'all in a couple of days. Yeah.